Vikings. The purpose of this tutorial is to teach you how to create a new uh, Google Calendar and embed it in your site. So this is for people who do not have one of these yet. Okay, if you already have something that looks like this in your site, then you may need access to that calendar, but you probably don't need to create a new one and embed it. Um, so if all you need is access, just email me at hamptonk at friscoisd.org and I will be happy to give you access to this calendar because I probably own it. Okay, so um, if you don't have this and you need to make one, that's what we're gonna do right now. So you actually do this in Google. I'm gonna go to Google and you wanna make sure that you're logged into your Frisco ISD uh, Google account. And you can see that I am because my little picture is up here in the top right. If you're not logged in, you'll probably have a little sign in button or something like that. Now, if you click on the little grid of squares, your apps show up and one of them is calendar and that is very helpful. Let's you jump right to your calendar. Okay, so my calendars, I have a lot of them. So I have a huge long list over here and then I have a long list of things that have been shared with me that I also have access to. And your list right now may be um, not quite that large and that's fine. You've got your personal calendar. This is not the one you want to use. You wanna create one specific to your purpose. So what we're gonna do is go next to my calendars and click the drop down menu and say create new calendar. So we've got some settings to create here. We've got to name it. I'm gonna call this one Delete Me. So that's my favorite name for things so that I know to go back later. You don't have to do a description or anything like that. Um, this should be GMT minus six by default. If it's not, make sure you change it. Um, share this calendar with others. Yes, you really do want to make this calendar public because that way everybody can see it. Um, you want them to be able to see the event details on this calendar. You do not want them to be able to um, do anything else to it. Now, when you share with specific people, that can, that's where you can give people editing rights to the calendar. So if I wanted a specific person to be able to make changes to this calendar, I could set that up right here. And then all I have to do is hit create calendar. And the answer to that question is yes, that's necessary so our parents can see it. And now we have this calendar here, delete me later. Okay, so I'm gonna go, oh look, I have a delete me already in there too. <laughs> now to embed this in my Moodle site, that's gonna be a trick. So I'm gonna go to the drop down menu it hides, I've got to scroll over it in order to see the drop down. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna to go to calendar settings. And right here in the middle next to the little um, calendar icon is a piece of code, okay? And I can customize this. I can click on that little button that said customize. Um, it kind of shows you a preview of what it's gonna look like. And what I wanna do is I wanna copy, highlight and copy all of that code. Okay, so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say copy. So now I've got the code for my calendar. Now, I'm done here. I'm gonna go back to my Moodle class and I'm gonna go up to the top and make sure my editing is turned on and it is. I can tell actually because I've got this little add an activity or resource option here. So I'm gonna to go to my topic where I want to stick my big calendar here. I'm going to click on the plus for add an activity or resource and I'm going to choose to add a label. I'm going to click add and be real careful don't just paste all of that mess that code mess here. Um, I actually don't see all the buttons I need so I've got to expand this. I'm going to click on that little button right there and this little guy right here is the one I want. When I hover over it, it says edit HTML source. I'm gonna click on that. And now I'm going to right click and paste my code. And you see all that stuff. Doesn't matter what all this says. You don't have to know all that. Just click update. There's my calendar, check it out. And then when I do save and return to course, delete me later right here, there it is. Now, there's another video in my channel that teaches you how to update the assignment, so I'm gonna let that be its own video since this one is already almost five minutes long. And hopefully you'll be able to create your calendar using this video and get yourself started. Best of luck.